Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome back to our channel. This morning we left California and drove our way through the desert. We have just passed over the border into Nevada. We're about 45 minutes away from Vegas, but we're gonna keep on going because our destination tonight is Utah. We've got a really cool place to stay just outside of Zion National Park, but we have a few more hours left of this drive, so let's get back on the road. making pretty good progress. We just passed into Arizona. You have to go through a little corner of Arizona and we will be in Utah shortly. We've made it to Utah and we're officially in Red Rock Canyon country. It's beautiful out here and it just keeps getting prettier and prettier the closer to Zion we get. We're a little bit west of Zion right now. All the glamping resorts are outside the park limits. But we're almost to our destination under canvas and I'm so excited. I've always wanted to stay at one of these resorts. I'm really curious to see what it's gonna be like. All right, we made it to Under Canvas. We saw a few other glamping resorts down back towards Virgin, but I think Under Canvas by far has the best view. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. This view is insane. Ah! We headed into the main lobby and just did a quick little check-in learned a little bit about the property and just filled out some paperwork, things like that. They have a restaurant down there and an outdoor area with some fire pits. I think they're gonna have some live music and a fire a little later tonight. But we've drove up the hill just a little bit and are about to go check out our cabin. No keys, only zippers. <laughs> this is one of the better views we've had in accommodation, I think. a deluxe tent. They do have several categories. Welcome. Wow. wow. Check this out. This is pretty crazy. Wow. Super cool. Ooh, it's pretty. <laughs> All right, this is a deluxe tent here at Under Canvas Zion. There are a bunch of different room categories. There's a stargazing tent, a family tent, if you have kids, more people. So I would say this is like their no frills tent, but for a tent, this has a lot of frills. So I can't really say that. Start over here, it's got this little seating area with these nice leather chairs, everything obviously is on brand very western style of course complete with creaky floors can't sneak out anywhere it's got this beautiful king size bed i know they said there are west elm furnishings in the lobby i think some of these might be west elm furnishings as well nice what is this a cow rug i guess rawhide 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 so this is a bench, but it's also storage, so we can put some of our stuff in there. So there's actually no electricity in the tents, so they give us bricks for charging, and also like USB powered lanterns, USB powered fans. We can plug our phones and whatever else charges by USB into those, and we can switch them out as often as we want. The best thing that makes it better than camping, aside from the king size bed, is the bathroom. There's a sink with running water, mirror, one of these little lantern guys an actual shower with hot water. It's a pull chain shower as we are in the desert. They try to conserve as much water as possible. The sink is push button and the toilet, it's a full flushing toilet, it's push button, but that also conserves water. You don't have to go stumbling out in the wilderness to do your business. <laughs> and there's this cool barn door. It looks like reclaimed wood. I've been watching too much HGTV, can you tell? Although I don't know how much good this is gonna do. Not that much privacy, so make sure you like the people you're staying with. We are in this area in November, which is kind of like the off season because it's kind of cold. So we have a wood burning stove, which I don't know if I've ever stayed anywhere with a wood burning stove before, even though that's how Kevin grew up. <laughs> They've got wood in it, wood here, and also wood outside. And I think the temperature is going to get, I think below freezing it's been getting lately. So we're gonna be needing that along with lots of layers. 
You can also roll these up if you want a little bit of fresh air and these will zip down to put the bugs out on a warmer day. There's one on the other side of the tent too, which is kind of cool. And there's a window right by the bed too. Oh yeah, nice. Also, starting a fire, gotta have a fire extinguisher. Oh, yeah. Safety first. And last but not least, the best view I might have ever had in an accommodation. And the lobby's open 24 hours. They light the fires after dark and they have complimentary s'mores and they have a restaurant so we don't even have to go outside for breakfast and dinner. They gave us these waters at check-in. These are aluminum bottles. They're pretty eco-friendly here at Under Canvas. There are fill-up stations around so you don't use plastic bottles. They're pretty mindful about their impact on the surrounding environment, which is really nice to see. We should also mention that this is the last week that Under Canvas is gonna be open. This location closes from November 7th and stays closed through the winter, reopening again in early March. So if you're looking to book this place, we'll put a link in the description, but you're gonna have to book it for next year. We've also been told that this place does book out quickly, so just keep that in mind. So we're going down to the lobby. Uh, they've started the live music for tonight. Eventually get some dinner. This is so fun. Ah! All right, we're now down at the lobby area or kind of like the common area. There's this really nice outdoor area where they have live music tonight and the fire pit, which it looks like they're getting those going. And also some cornhole you can come out and play and uh, some Jenga. So it's a nice hangout spot, come out and have a drink. But we're here very late in the season. They close in less than a week. So probably less people than there are normally. I'm really excited to be here, can you tell? Just found out Kelly's way better at cornhole than I am. All right, we're inside the uh, dining slash lobby tent and we're gonna check out what they have for dinner. So they sell beer and wine here, but they only sell wine by the bottle, so we had to get a bottle. Darn it. They also had a section with a bunch of board games inside here, and I found checkers. So I guess we're playing checkers and drinking wine. Woo! Just kidding, no checkers. Our food arrived very quickly. We got a burger and chicken tostada appetizer. The menu isn't huge, but they had some pretty good stuff on there. Dinner was really good, but now it's time for wine and checkers. So here at Under Canvas, they have complimentary tea, coffee, and hot chocolate. When we went over to check that out, we also found a spiced apple cider mix. So we poured a couple of those and we came out to the fire, where they also include free s'mores with your stay. Now there's two different types of bags that you could get. You could get the traditional bag or the mystery bag. So I went for the mystery bag. Of course you did. <laughs> You wanna open it? Sure. Mystery bags. That's two more colors, that's good. Graham crackers and a Kit Kat bar. Ever had a s'mores with a Kit Kat? I have not. Try it out. Okay. <laughs> s'mores with Kit Kats. Is this for me? It's for you. Oh, thank you. It's not bad. A little more crunch. I'm down. <laughs> that was so awesome having dinner down there and listening to the live music and s'mores and all that. But we're really tired after a long drive today, so we're gonna settle into our tent. It's a little chilly in here, so we have to build a fire in our wood burning stove. It's 
starting to warm up a little bit and overall it's super cozy. We are definitely not lacking. We're choosing not to use the shower tonight because it's cold and I'm tired and I don't want to. Maybe we'll try that out tomorrow night. All right, ladies and gents, the fire is roaring. So we're gonna go to sleep in this cozy bed in this cozy tent and I'm so excited. Thanks so much for watching everyone and if you've made it this far in the video you might as well hit that subscribe button right and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. We have some amazing adventures in southern Utah coming up so you don't want to miss those but until then this is Kelly and Kevin from the Awkward Tourist. Peace out. hauled our way to the Nevada border. Are you excited? Stop picking your nose. So you don't have to go stumbling. Stumbling? Um, there's this contraption. What is, what is this? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Say that one more time. It sounds like they are getting ready to do it sounds like the live music is getting started, so we're gonna go. Can he walk and talk, ladies and gentlemen? I don't think I can. I don't think I can do it.